Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's such a delight to be back in this part of the country. Uh, I spent the first third of my uh, career down the road in Hanover, New Hampshire, uh, as an early employee of a small software company that we'd started up called Fluent. Uh, it was a lovely time in my life, lots of hard work, lots of fun, lots of learning. And so it's a part of why I've always loved uh, this part of the world. And so it's doubly delightful to be back here for this particular occasion, the installation of Suresh Garamella as president of the University of Vermont. Um, as I prepared for this occasion, I thought a lot about how to introduce my dear friend to you. Uh, we've been close friends and collaborators for a long time now, and I could, of course, talk to you about his resume, the hundreds of publications, the national prizes, uh, the highly placed students, dazzling amounts of funding. Uh, if you don't mind feeling a bit inadequate, I will talk to you about that. And then, and then there is Suresh, the person, right? Husband, father, son, teacher, mentor, collaborator, colleague, boss. I'll talk to you about that too. And hopefully from this composite will emerge the portrait of the Suresh that I know. Extraordinarily talented, extraordinarily competent, and extraordinarily caring. First, research. Uh, Suresh and I work in the area of heat transfer, and Suresh has been a recognized leader in microelectronics thermal management. So his work undergirds why your laptops don't burn up and why data centers work. He's explored new ways of cooling microelectronics, ideas like microchannel cooling, novel heat pipes and vapor chambers, and new ideas such as electrowetting. And for this work, he's been recognized with virtually every prize the thermal sciences community has to offer. And his work permeates industries such as Intel, Motorola, IBM, you name it. I remember his Cooling Technologies Research Consortium back at Purdue, and in the, and an industry consortium that he ran for many decades, faithfully supported by a set of industry partners. And they came back year after year hired, um, grabbed his students, and remain connected to Suresh after so many years. There is not a company in this field that doesn't have a Garamella protege who's moving and shaking things up. Uh, and then there's teaching. When I first met Suresh, uh, I was sure there's some kind, of truck, uh, some kind of trick up his sleeve. Either the guy did not sleep, or there were actually two of him how was it possible to run huge research groups, frequently 20 students or more, and give each student adequate attention? How is it possible to teach undergraduates with painstaking care? But somehow he did it, and I haven't entirely figured out how yet, but he did it. And I remember the papers that we wrote together with our students these were painstakingly edited, frequently a mass of red that the poor student would have to go away and fix, and full of sharp queries and comments. And the best guess I have is that he is extraordinarily self-disciplined and efficient, and a genius at running things, at getting people to perform at their very best. And you will all see this aspect of Suresh here at the University of Vermont, if you haven't already. But all the stuff about research productivity, teaching effectiveness, administrative chops, none of this tells you much about Suresh the person. Uh, I first got to know Suresh when I joined the faculty of the School of Mechanical Engineering at Purdue University. And I was one of three women in the department at the time, and I was its first female full professor. Now, full professors are grown-up people, right? Uh, they don't need a lot of help. Uh, but I will tell you, when you're one of three, grown-up or not, life can get very lonely. 
uh, we quickly struck up a close collaboration, started sharing ideas and students, and we worked on a lot of fun stuff together. Suresh has always been a phenomenal supporter of women. His lab always seems to produce these confident and successful young women who to this day will tell you what a phenomenal experience they had in his lab. Suresh's support of diversity is real and comes from deep belief. And, and Suresh folded me into his family. Lakshmi and their two children, Shruti and Sanjay, were always a warm and welcoming presence all through my stay uh, at Purdue. And I've always been struck by Suresh's relationship to his children and to his students. Always warm, always caring, always honest, never harsh, and always on their side. And so, congratulations, Suresh, and congratulations, University of Oman. I know you will all do great things together, and I know Suresh will bring all of his enormous energy, intelligence, and imagination to his work here. I, and I can't wait to see what the future holds, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you.